35 big 35 that is how old i look 35 years old no sir no 35 that's when men hit their prime so sorry ladies i have a long <laughs> way to go and so does ohms and when i say ladies i mean my girlfriend <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway do you believe in like Men hit their prime late, later, and and women decline. Do you, do you believe that? I mean, yeah, women decline, bro. But how about the gilfs? I I seen some nice sixty year old, seventy year old women, how bro. How old are they though? Sixty, seventy. I'll be walking. Seventy year old attractive old lady. Yeah, bro. I mean, I I like them. Show em. me what the fuck. I like them, bro. I mean, the, they they probably in their bag. You know, they divorced. They already got. No, but no, I'm saying, show me like who is a seven year old bad John, bro. Oh, I mean, fuck? I don't I don't know him personally, but I just see him walk around, you know, downtown Frederick. I'm like, shit. Oh, damn. I so mean, around awake? 70 years old isn't too far from 19. Do they stop having sex? When you get old, do you stop having sex? I've seen that old people do. <laughs> I've seen in some articles or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah? I don't know. But, like, when do people stop Having intercourse. I know men can last for a while, you know, until their wiener starts stops working. <laughs> but until their wiener stops working, they can get that joint active. But so can women. Hey. I've heard of horny grandmas. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever? Oh uh, no! Nah, have you ever watched Yes Men with uh, John with uh, Jim Carrey? Yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah. <laughs> I have. You remember that scene uh, where he? <laughs> it was like the old lady uh, downstairs. <laughs> And uh, she she was like, "Oh, can you help me with my cabinets?" Yeah, she was so flirty <laughs> with his ass. And yeah, and then he fucking uh, she was like, "Oh, I wanna I wanna repay you with sucking your cock." And then he had to say yes because he was saying yes to everything. And then uh, that's kind of lit. Imagine. Yeah, I mean, your neck getting neck from honestly like gums, honestly and gummy get- teeth because you know she takes out her dentures <laughs> and you know get to town, go to town on Jim Low Carey. How can I repay you? I would probably feel insane. Like no teeth. I mean, no, I probably just straight feel gums. Like, that would probably feel like you getting you you. That would probably feel like you fucking and you getting your dick sucked at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it's probably like sticking your old dick in like a a <laughs> dolphin hole. <laughs> <laughs> a dolphin? What the fuck? Because it's like I don't know. I I see dolphins and stuff, and they look rubbery. You know, they yeah. Like rubbery oh, looking skin. I see what you mean. Oh, so it's like you know, and it's wet. So it's like you know, gummy, gummy, wet. Like oh. Oh. Anyway, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Sorry, you're talking about this gross stuff. I already know, as usual, we got to start off with uh, talking about uh, some sexual shit or some, you know, adultery stuff. Because that's just the way we do, man. Because that's how men think. And uh, it is no nun November, but let's just say. Ooh, no nun November, yes. Personally, I failed already. It's uh, only the second day of November, but I failed. Look, is what it is. I I don't believe in no no November. Honestly, I think that's the month that you should probably nut the most in. Yeah, because it's you know right before the year ends. You know you want to end your year strong. It's a Thanksgiving month. You know you want to give thanks to your body <laughs> for having the ability to ejaculate, and so you want to ejaculate as much as possible in exactly. And you know like in order to give thanks. It honestly, to God, it is a thanks to your body. Because think about it. Right now, we're basically on autopilot. Our hearts, you know, they're pumping right now. That's all our Plankton's body. in my head, boy. What you mean? Oh, okay. I ain't on autopilot. He driving. All right, well, for you. Say not, say not. <laughs> what do you mean we're on autopilot? What? Because you don't conscious, like, you don't have to think about manu- manually think, you know, beat your heart. But your your body's doing that right now. You know, it's getting. Now like, I am, though. Now I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking that I said, oh, if I stop, bro, you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Say nah, but you know, don't you? You know how you can breathe, yeah, like how you can breathe without thinking. But then, as soon as you start thinking about breathing, yeah, you start breathing or blinking. Now you're Damn, manually now, blinking. I know. Now you're manually <laughs> blinking. <laughs> yeah. And now you're fucking manually blinking. Yeah. Scratching <laughs> your nuts. Damn. Oh. 
Uh, Say that, but how you been, bro? What you been up to, bro? What's good, bro? How was your Halloween? Hey. You know what I'm saying? Was you already it, know, Were you man. litty, bro? Were you litty titty out this bitch? I was, uh, you know, you guys saw the, if you guys saw the Halloween special, hopefully you did. Oh, oh, um, oh. I was Bob Ross, you know what I mean? I was out, I was out and about, you know what I'm saying? I was, uh, it was actually funny because <laughs> I told you about it, but, you know, let's just say, uh, maybe, uh, to the government, I'm not at the right age yet to enter bars and whatnot, you know what I mean? But shit, I was like, fuck it, I'm about to sneak through this bar right here, you know what I'm saying? I got in that joint somehow, I don't know how, I was so fucking drunk that night, I don't know how I got in, but I did, and I felt like, I, I felt like, that one scene in Super Bad, when they was all at they they all went to that one party and it was straight old heads. Motherfuckers got this man got into that one room and it was just straight old dudes and doing coke and shit. Wait, how old was everybody there? I mean, because I mean, we went to a bar together. Was it like that? Nah, bro. We're talking like older than older, that. like you know, I mean, like thirties, late thirties. Damn. When we went, that was like some younger so people. Like a karaoke. Like, <laughs> nah, not a karaoke. They had a. I mean, you've been in Bush. You've been in Bushwilders, right? Yeah. You know how they got a band and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, they but when I went, there. it was young people too, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Nah, bro. When I went, it was it was some young people. It was more. Old. They they seemed older though. It was straight cougars, straight cougars out that joint. Know what I'm saying. I mean, the only memory I have there is losing my wallet. <laughs> lost my wallet. I lost my wallet in that bitch. Got it back the next day though. Oh, and some. It smelled weird in there, and some dude was weird <laughs> that day too. I'm pretty sure it was like. Bumping into people and shit, everybody got sick. Oh, yeah, like, yeah we doing that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, when I went, we went for like 15 minutes, and it was like, well, no, I was there, we were there for like 45 minutes. I was with all girls, they went to the bathroom, they were in there for 30 like minutes, bro. Oh, they were doing coke. No, they weren't. They were like talking to somebody or some shit. I don't even know, but they were like 30 oh. minutes. Then we go out, and then we have like 15 minutes on the dance floor, and then they closed. What the fuck? <laughs> like, y'all were in the bathroom longer than we were fucking at. That's why I hate that shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, no, nah, but it was lit. My Halloween night was cool, you know what I mean? Uh, shit, I mean, it was, it was nice being around some cougars, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was getting a little some, you know? I was uh, I was in my Bob Ross fit, so I looked a little bit older, you feel me? So they didn't know they was fucking with a, a 19-year-old kid, but shit, they was, they was rocking with it, you know what I'm saying? I like me some cougars, like I said, you know? You gotta lie by your age, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah, That's bro. how you lure them in. Exactly. Like, well, I'm actually uh, 26. I have a mansion. You know, <laughs> just one. I have one. I'm, I'm just staying in one of my properties right now in Frederick. Yeah, and I have 500,000 uh, subscribers on uh, YouTube and yeah. uh, my podcast called Break Zone. Yeah, exactly. And then you show them, and it's like yeah. 85. Like, <laughs> Damn you, cap. <laughs> just like, but <laughs> I still, well, it's I still fucked up, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. How was how was your night? It seemed like you had a crazy night, Halloween night, right? Okay, so the weekend of, you know, like, everybody goes out Friday, Saturday. I didn't go out Friday, Saturday. I stayed in, slept early, was chilling cozy in my bed. Mm -hmm. You know, then uh, that's when everybody else was out. I saw, like, I was looking at everybody's stories, like, pressing through that shit so much. Like, (laughs) my finger was getting a blister. I'm tapping so much of so many fucking stories and shit. But... Then Halloween day, which was Sunday, I had work the next morning, but fuck it, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I went to his little jump at a co a university, then my girl's university, because it was her last game of the season. Mm. And they took a dub, and it's all over, and mm-hmm. they just went, you know, celebrate for the last time. She's a senior, so we about to, she about to be done. So, you know, we stepped out there. We were Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Me and my girl were Mario and Luigi. We, mm-hmm. It was a little bootleg because I didn't have a hat. I just put an L, <laughs> cut out paper, cut out paper of L, put it on my, taped it to my chest in a in a, in a a nice bright green shirt that wasn't even Luigi's color, bro. Yeah. And I was in jeans, not even overalls, but hey, whatever. I was cracking. I'm telling you, I look good. And my girl was in, you know, just some red shirt with the same thing, a color a cut out of an M on her chest. But uh, yeah. So, you know, we went out, we went to like this one party, bruh, and I kid you not, as soon as I stepped foot in there, I wanted to leave because, <laughs> dude, like, it smelled like straight feet. <laughs> I'm talking about the stinkiest feet ever, like fungi. I, I don't know what the fuck it was, bro. Like, we walked in there. I don't know. I just wanted to plug my nose. And then my, my girl turns around. She smells it, too. I thought I was bugging. I thought I was the only one. Because nobody was saying anything. Everybody's they, There's so many people in there. I'm like, do you guys smell the same shit I'm smelling? <laughs> my God. 
It's like I, imagine drinking alcohol and all this stuff, and you're just smelling like f- foot fungi yeah, that's the whole time. Just, like, oh fuck, that's. But now, yeah, I wasn't really that lit or anything because you know I was a driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to get my girl lit, even though she says I'm gonna get so fucked up, I'm gonna get so fucked. Up. And she don't even get that fucked up, bro. She doesn't. She still relaxes. But no, there. yeah, I don't know. That place is really isn't our vibe or anything like that. We weren't yeah. there that much. We just wanted to step out for a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, I haven't really done much on a on a Halloween for real. It's been a while since I've had like a super popping crazy Halloween. You know, oh, yeah, a night to remember type shit. It's been a while. I don't know about you, but I felt a different vibe from this Halloween. It's just felt 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 a lot of uh, I don't know. It's just a lot of. Uh, Sexualness going on. Oh, for <laughs> real, like that. You feel like that? Yeah, bro. I mean, shit. This was the first time I seen you know so much ass everywhere, bro. I'm like, holy bro, shit. Halloween is the number one excuse for girls to go and dress yeah. up, dress up like a hoe. No, definitely. Like, like when a guy says I'm gonna be a pirate for Halloween, <laughs> that doesn't mean we're gonna show up in like a fucking speedo, <laughs> a fucking eye patch, and like, shit. you know what I'm saying? Like, no, we were just like a fucking pirate. Yeah. But now these fools like fishnet, I'm like, dude. G-string thong in their coochie. That's what I'm saying. You know bro. what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, why? I'm just like, a bra. I, don't I mean, know I'm why. not like really complaining. I mean, as, yeah, as but men, at the same as men, time, you don't complain. Much. Yeah, but it's just something you gotta, you know. Put some attention to, cause you know, as a society, I guess I'm just like, dang, bro. I mean, these kids out here, they They're so hypersexualized, bro. Y- yeah, bro. These people kids... get so happy to go dress up as a fucking hoe, or <laughs> yeah, a whore. Bro, it's kind of to I mean, go dang. show off their what Shit, they got. Bro, I, I mean, does it make you a hoe to dress up that way? Hmm. I mean, bro, that's also something you can ask. It's for yes, de- it's for debate. Yes. Nah, bro, you can't because there's too. It's too normalized. Too many girls do it now. Yeah, no, you're calling no, 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 too. You're, you're literally calling the whole female population hard, oh, yeah. like <laughs> Which nah. I mean, is that wrong? Say no, I'm playing. Nah. <laughs> Say no, I'm playing. I'm playing. But um, yeah. nah. See, I mean, I just think about it because I got dog. Like, if I ever have a daughter, you know, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, she's gonna be dressing like this too. But hey, some it's some it's something that that everybody goes through. Now nah, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell. I want. I want a daughter, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna be like, dress. This is how you should dress. Like like what? Like all like the fish nets. You like can't tell her shit. how to dress, bro. No, nah, nah, I'm gonna her tell body, her that her because choice. you know why I'm gonna tell her that because then she's not gonna want to do it. Because you know, not true. Because that's how that's how that's how teenagers work, bro. You know. tell them to do one thing and then you do the they do the opposite. So I'm gonna be like, yeah, dress like a hoe. And then she gonna be like, nah. And then and then she gonna be all yeah. And other people are gonna be like, this guy's a fucking weirdo <laughs> yeah. wanting his fucking daughter to dress like a whore and revealing shit. What the fuck? <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Like what? No, I don't See know. that's what I just think about. I'm like, bro, like you have a father. Imagine your father seeing pictures of you, and and it's yeah, just like no, your that's... whole titties and ass are out. I don't know. Just personally, I wouldn't feel that comfortable doing that. No, no, no. But I don't know. Just, no. Uh, girls, they, I guess it's just how they draw. That's how they get attention, bro. I guess. I mean, that's where the, I think that's where they see the value in themselves, right? It's in, chill, it's, chill. It's, don't it's, say that too I'm, loud. Don't say that too loud. I mean, bro, is isn't it, like most girls, a lot of girls, they wanna. That's, that's where, like, you know, why they wanna get pampered up and shit and whatnot, cause that's where you know they see that uh, men we uh, attract to. You know, what I'm saying the physicals and whatnot. Or maybe they're just doing it for themselves, cause they wanna be a bad ass bitch, hot girl shit. You already know what it is, my guy. Don't fucking be judgmental. It could be hot girl shit. Hey. Doing it for themselves. I mean, look, I've grown to believe more and more that girls do that for themselves. I've seen that they're going out. Not not every single time that a girl goes out, they're going to be looking for attention. Mm-hmm. I have believe that some girls have that intention and are pure like that. I do believe it. Now, for some, though, I think it's the complete opposite. Like, <laughs> they have to fucking create. Now, it doesn't even matter. It's from men. But, like, attention in general. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes, like, they even... Girls be competitive within themselves, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like doing shit, just like I want that bitch to peep how I look. Like, yeah, man, like, like I don't know. It's some weird shit that people have. It's just ego and competition. Yeah, but no, I think there is, there is some girls that do just up out there. Like they put in some girls put in hella effort into their costumes and stuff. It mm-hmm. cracks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, definitely. that's everybody. They put in hella effort. It's just like it's a sexy costume. It's like how it's just sexualized, you know? Yeah, it's always got to be some sexy version. I mean, like I said, I'm like not complaining a though. But sexy gumbo or no? I'm, or I mean, I already I'm already thinking about next Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but 
Ain't no. you better be. You think you're gonna try? I always say that, bro, because I always see everybody <laughs> else's costume, and I'm like, dang, like these people are doing good, putting in effort. I should try. And then boom, I never do. Like I always lack. I mean, I think it's cool, bro. I, I I'm not really the one to be like that. That one, like you know, that cool dude. That's like, ah, oh, look at these motherfuckers trying so hard. Yeah. I think, bro. I think it's cool because you know, how often do people? I mean, some people, some people like to dress up like on weekends and shit. You know, mm-hmm. do you know do like, cosplay. cosplay and shit. I think that shit is cool too. I would love to go to an anime convention. That would For be real? dope. Fuck yeah. Imagine going to an anime convention, like doing some acid or some shrooms. Oh my god. You need to see some, you know, nice pressed up anime tits and whatnot everywhere. Oh fuck, I'll probably pass out. I mean it was there was an anime convention not that long ago in DC. Oh, I remember because I remember you talking yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, I drove by it because it was on the weekend. Like, and I had yeah. I had a soccer game, a Sunday league game, and then fuck. I was driving through and I just see everybody walking down the street with fucking <sighs> Goku and and just anime characters oh, and cosplay fuck. and stuff and I was like damn, it was full. That. That, I was like shit. I would love to go to one of those or like a Viking type of re- a Renaissance cosplay. Oh fuck. Damn. What about the oh. the porn conventions? Nah, I don't know about that. Oh, that's okay. too. That's too. Bro, those. Have you ever seen videos <laughs> of those, bro? They're fucking weird, bro. Like <laughs> the people that go to those. Yeah, they're weird people. They're weird, right? <laughs> like those guys don't get pussy ever in their life, so that's why they go to that shit. Nah. It's fucking. They're creeps, bro. Nah, I wouldn't go to that. I would go to like a one where it's, you know, anime or some shit. Not not one that's straight mm-hmm. porn. Yeah, anime is cool. Like, yeah, I, you know, I knew a cosplayer. Like, I was a. Uh, co-workers with one. Oh yeah and he's and he's actually very popular on like on like instagram he got pretty popular on instagram. no way yeah Stop. some non-binary dude and he would cosplay a lot as women as like girls um, but like bro he got he had a pretty big following i actually went to church with him growing up oh what the heck yeah Dang. interesting wow but yeah like i don't know you'd never expect it from him because he literally it was that firehouse bro you just think he's like one of the we managers should do, we should do a brick zone Bro, that'd be tough. Honestly, we should do we should that. Go, like, go we to like do convention that. or something. That would be dope, bro. We yeah. should do that. We should do that. And be like, yo, what anime did you watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, it's like, who are you? <laughs> now nah, we're gonna meet some weird people there, but exactly, that's the best. Nah, that'll we'll be so Get some so good dope. content. That'll be so There's some dope. outgoing ass motherfuckers there, bro. Exactly, and some nice tits. I would love to see some nice tits there, bro. Oh gosh, anime, I love it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I would love to go out there. People, people love to dress up. Like, I think that's definitely a foreplay kind of you know kink kind of thing because people want you know some different shit you know i, I could imagine uh maybe like fucking with a girl who'd want to dress up as uh as that one that one thing from um what's that what's that one kid's show called the fosters home for imaginary Foster's home for Ima- yeah, yeah, yeah. coco yeah coco yeah, yeah. I'll, i would love to fuck with someone dressed up as coco that'll be dope what the fuck? that'll be dope do you remember what coco the bird yeah the bird yeah nah, that, that only said coco I remember that joke. I remember that joke. Eggs and stuff, and that would be tough. (laughs) Imagine that if that was true, bro. Imagine you could just like make your imaginary friend; they become the real. Oh my gosh! You could make anything. That's why sometimes there were some OCS motherfuckers and stuff, like super swole, huge dudes and stuff. Sometimes that purple, we were that, like, what was that purple guy's name? Do you remember him? The Eduardo. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure it was Eduardo. Yeah. I, th- I think it was yeah. something like Hispanic. Nah, shit. it was Eduardo. Some Spanish shit. I mean, it was Eduardo. I know yeah. it was. <laughs> yeah. Bro, those Cartoon Network shows are so fucking dope, bro. Yeah, but wait, we were talking about something else. Before we started talking about conventions, what were we talking about, bro? I was going to bring Women. And, uh, like... Daughters? Say no. Nah, daughters and, like, dressing up or... Nah, not dressing up, but having, like, value in in their... Physical. No, but, like, dressing up. I was going to bring something up with dressing up, bro. Oh, like, trying in Halloween? Oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's perfect. All right, yeah. so, like, what about, like... Because you said you were, you're not going to knock people that you like, you think you're too cool for it or something like that. You know, like, some people think they're too cool for, like, events. Yeah. So, like, oh, I would never do that. You know, yeah. like, all these dweebs dressing up. Oh, my God, <laughs> fucking lame-os. <laughs> no, yeah, I wasn't like that either. And, like, you know, spirit days in, in, uh, in oh, school, like, high school, high school yeah, and yeah. even middle school and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah Spirit yeah. days, not nah, in and spirit day in middle school, bro, I would go all out, bro. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's, what was your favorite day? I fucked with like the, the the 90s like the old like the vin- like kind of like vintage type of days. For I real? fucked with that. Yeah, that was more like high school though. Middle school, I don't really remember for real, for real. But 
high school, I remember they had like those like old school days. I fucked with that because everyone, you know, most people would fuck with doing that shit. And it was just tough because it felt like a vibe in Bruin in high school. And um, I don't know. I mean, also, uh, honestly, I fuck with I fucked with the it's kind of boring, but just like the pep rally days itself. What? Just everyone just yeah, she liked the pep rally. Yeah. Well, not the pep rally itself, but just like everybody dressed every- up as their color. Yeah. I fuck with that. Cause I was like, Oh damn. I didn't even know that. That jump. blue squall, <laughs> yellow squall, freshman. Woo. I didn't even know. Like I, sometimes I would see like a, a, a shorty and I'll be like, what the hell? No way. She's a fucking sophomore. I, I swear. She's a fucking senior. Bro. Whoa, like, what the, the fuck? fuck? Yeah, nah, bro. The best, the best day, bro, was Wacky Day, bro. Come on. Oh. Wacky Day was my fucking day, cause that's when your creativity is up to you. Yeah, you can do whatever the fuck yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Son, in middle school, bro, I would dress up. I would have the fucking like Tex Mex sombrero. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> when you go to those Mexican restaurants and they give you sombrero. <laughs> I would have one of those, pull up to school and that. I'd have shin guards, long socks that don't match, different shoes. <laughs> you know, then I have pants and I have shorts over it. And then yeah. I have underwear over all of it. So I'm, I'm inside out, inside out, everything backwards. Bandana, make, mess my hair up. Bro, it did not matter. It was so fun. Like, I love that shit. Everybody would be like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> I was walking to the bus stop, pulling up. <laughs> Walk into the bus stop like that outside. But on that day, it passes though. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. That's what I'm straight. saying, bro. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, but like doing that. Imagine doing that like on a Tuesday or like random. Or nah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, bro. To be fair, I think that. I mean, what can they say, right? Like yeah. you can still dress up like that. Yeah, you can. It's honestly, just, yeah. And damn. I mean, some people did. I remember. I mean, not like to that extent, but some people. You, you know, remember in Northwest the dude that had like, uh, shiny gun color contacts. No way. You've never seen I've it? never seen it. Nah, Duh. what the fuck? Oh, my <laughs> God, bro. Every, like, I would see him in the hallway. He was in my he was in my gym soccer class, bro. No way. Like, we would just walk by him, and we'd look at him in the eye. He had red eyes. Because <laughs> he was a fucking shit ring. <laughs> <laughs> like, he oh, genuinely fuck. had that stuff. Like, that stuff is weird. I'm sorry. That stuff is weird. That's creepy. Nah, see, but he's the type of dude to go to, like, the anime conventions. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but, like, damn, bro, you're at school. This <laughs> man about to put him in if it's kill me. <laughs> like, he's about to put a fucking genjutsu my ass when I look at him, bro. I'm scared. That's funny as fuck. I you mean, never saw him in Northwest? I don't know. He was younger nah. than me. He was he was younger than me, so I don't know. Bro, me I and mean, my friend would see him all the time. You know, you know some you know some girls would do that though too sometimes. But like not showering up, but they would put no, on bro. I know a I know, a, I know a few I know a few girls that like You put on like green oh. contacts on or something. I, I don't know any guys. I'm thinking nah, about guys because I don't want to just say it's a girl thing. But I honestly can't think of any guys. Yeah. I know. I actually, I do know some guys that did wear color contact, but it was later on. But I'm talking about. Some, I know some girls that put color contacts on early. Yeah. And then just did it ever since. And yeah. Pretty much, I guess people now now that people she meets are probably convinced that it was a real eye color. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they've been doing it for years, type shit. Like they didn't stop. Damn. I'm like, usually, yeah, don't you think like after you get judged or something like that for yeah. that long, like, all right, bro, like take that shit off. But nah, like there's these girls that dead ass do that shit all the time. Yeah. Like I actually know like a couple, bro. I can like some come to mind, pop in my mind. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah like, me that too. currently do it right now. For real? Like still yeah. wear color contact every single day. That's what I'm saying. Like new people meet them and then they think they actually have that eye color. It's like what? Damn. I mean, shit. I'm not one to judge, but I don't know. I guess people have different ways of expressing themselves. But you know, is that a way of expression? I, like isn't that just saying you wish you had that? I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I mean, shit. If I could like, you know, maybe like put some extendo thing on my cock to make my bulge bigger, that would be yeah. Dope. Bring know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but I to... but I know I'm gonna get judged for it. So shit. What do you think about like that new thing that's going on? What the height surgery? Yo, that's this, wild. That one surgeon and shit that like it, he'll give you inches. They do surgery into that's your legs and they wild. add like shit and they give you inches and Fuck. it like works. I think, bro. I I'm, I swear. I, I think I remember showing you it. And I think it was around. I'm. I think it was around like a hundred, like thousand bands for like four more inches or some shit. Not like yeah. That. It was like six inches is like. 100k that's and it was wild. like it was like four inches is like 50k or some shit like that 
But damn, bro. Nah, Imagine, bro. though, like five inches right now. Add five inches on me, I'll be 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> that'd, that'd be actually lucky kind of tough. <laughs> Is it that like Steph Curry height or something? No, boy. Steph that's... Curry's shorter than that. Bro, really? Yeah, he's oh. like 6'3". Damn, wait, really? What yeah, Steph fuck? Curry's not that tall. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. What the six, fuck? 6'6 is like Lonzo Ball. Okay. I'll be like Lonzo. Yo, Mello. nah, bro. For 100,000? Nah, bro. I'd, nah, ra- I'd rather... Taller. I'd rather get a fucking house. <laughs> nah, bro. Like you literally have to like relearn how to walk. <laughs> like you see like the picture, like the videos of them after, and they're like relearning how to walk and stuff. It just looks dysmorphic. It's like they're not gonna move naturally again. Like I would never be this like an af- a good athlete again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, nah, bro. I don't. Care. The way I run will per- permanently be changed and shit. I mean, I'll be like running with a limp. But, look, but I'm six, <laughs> even though I have no limp. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'll be yeah. running like a seven foot eighter. You know, so like, yeah, yeah, six, yeah. seven foot oh, eight yeah. guys are like can barely move and shit. I'll be moving like that, <laughs> and I'm fucking six six. Like, what the fuck? Nah, bro. I mean, for the short kings out there, I know they probably. I mean, I'm 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 fucking short too, but at least, I I think I'm average height. Like what? Like five? I'm like five ten. Give or take. <laughs> Give or take, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, the, on, say. but you know, for the for the five, three, five, four kings out there, I know they're probably, you know, there's something they contemplate. Probably like, there's hope. But Damn, that's crazy. How that's how insecure men are about that stuff. Like that's how something that society expects of men and wants of, of them so much that motherfuckers are willing to drop bands just to increase their height, bro, and like just change their muscular structure forever and shit, bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, we'll never know how they feel though. The five, four. Kings and five three kings. I mean, I was five four at one point. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Like, at one point, I was five. Like four. fucking sixth grade, like shit, boy. <laughs> nah, bro. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> bro took, I I took, when, I was when, short. When it took me a, puberty. Nah, it took I took me a while to grow. Really? Out of my friends, I was the shortest always until like high school. Not yeah. even high school until like like later on high school. At first, I was short, bro. Damn. I remember I I dated this one gentleman in middle school, mm-hmm. and then. I ended. I was shorter than her at the time. Then high school came, bro, and I would hang out with them, and I realized how much bigger I was. And I was like, "Holy fuck!" I was actually like shorter than these people at one point. Like that's how Damn. short I was. Like, they were like five two, five one, and they used to <laughs> all be taller than me in middle school, bro. Damn. I hit puberty like I started hitting puberty like eighth grade. Damn. I started growing in eighth grade because that's when I got Osgood Slaughter on my <laughs> knee, and that's like that's a growth thing. So, you know what I'm saying? That my disease. Oh, my yeah. disease. Thank, yeah, the disease. Thank God. The thank disease. God I survived that jump. But, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, that's when, that's when I started changing. And then I, I grew gradually. I didn't really have mm. any spurts. You mm. know how some people have, like, an OC spurt and then like, yeah. they just stop or some mm. shit like that? Nah, me. I was just like. Yeah. Exponential growth. Yeah, low key. And then I surpassed growth. all my friends. Everybody. And they could all suck my fucking dick now. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I would even tell my friends, one day, I'm going to be taller, I promise, <laughs> yeah, one, one day. day, I will. And they're all like, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> and then you'll, I'll be the one laughing. Yeah. You'll see who's laughing then. And then now, who's laughing? <laughs> uh, let's go. Fuck y'all. Especially Edward. You in particular. Because I remember <laughs> it was you that I had this cunt. Because he was always taller than me, bro. And he would always oh, be like, yeah. you'll never be taller than me. He's like, you know, when you keep growing, I'm going to keep growing. I'm like, that's <laughs> not how life works, bro. It's like you know genetics and shit, <laughs> bro. I remember, I remember my cousin would have told me that shit too. So, cause he's older than me, and he's like, "Bro, I'm always gonna be fucking like bigger than you." I'm like, "Bro, just wait, son." But shit, I mean, I still haven't hit puberty yet, so I don't, fuck, know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe in a year or so, hopefully, I, I hit puberty. But um, we still got some some time to go. So, yeah, we'll see. I think I'm gonna hit like six five though, and then I'm gonna be like looking down on you. You know what I'm saying? What do you think is the perfect height? Like, if you could choose, bro. Honestly, I think, I think my height right now. You know what I'm saying? Five ten. I'm, bro. I'm not. I'm. I mean, I know girls. You know, they they fuck with like the six foot shit. Be serious, bro. You would just still. You wouldn't choose to be taller if you had the opportunity. <laughs> All, right. All right. Honestly, like if you had the opportunity to be taller right now, you'd be like, nah. I'm straight. I like okay, my height. Okay. Look, if I all I honestly all I would want is at least the six. Okay, so then <laughs> just six the foot. six. At least that. So six. six foot, you think it's straight? Yeah, yeah, I think best six height. Foot. Yeah, I think six foot. At least six See, foot. Once you surpass that, like like me. <laughs> Fuck you. Sorry. Once you surpass that, you start to aim a little higher. I Fuck still don't you, think bro. six foot is even the perfect height, bro. Nah. If I could choose, bro, I would definitely be like. 
Six five, man. I swear. Chill, chill, six bro. three, six five. No, nah, all right, six three. There has to be there has to be negatives. Bro, to six be. three is tough because I'm not that tall, obnoxiously tall, but I'm also like tall enough. Like I'll stand out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can have a good frame, and I'll, I'm still like, I can still have a good soccer player build. You know what I'm saying? Like there's right. some good six three players. Now, if we're talking in terms of soccer, though. You're you're losing pace there. But that's see, that's not true, Holland. Okay, but exactly, okay, nah. bro. It's about all how you train nah, and shit, bro. bro. Holland is Holland is built different, though. Nah, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I would have a good frame, bro. I don't know. Six three sounds pretty good, okay, and I could play any sport. I could literally translate into any sport. You could play bat. I played basketball, start yamming. I could play football, be a dog. Play volleyball, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You can <laughs> that's do it. Like, nah, you nah, can do you, anything. You might be onto something. You might be onto something. Yeah. Right, hockey. Right. Motherfuckers in hockey yeah. are huge, so I'm going to be big. That's crazy. Is, is there just pure benefits to being taller? Yes, there is, Have bro. You, <laughs> you better marry a fucking 6'10 bitch or some shit. You know, some huge-ass <laughs> Samoan <laughs> woman. <and laughs> <laughs> some, Amazon- some, Amazon- some Amazonian woman, some, some Russian, Russian, bro. Man. Yeah, dog. And then you can hey, have some big ass kids. That's true, bro. I mean, I don't know. I low key for some reason. I don't know. It was weird when I, I remember when I first entered high school. For some reason, everyone felt so much bigger. Like the seniors, yeah. For some reason, everyone was bigger. And like compared to when I was a senior, some people were still pretty big, but not compared. Like it was majority of everyone. My, like when I was a freshman, the seniors were bigger. But, like, of course, like, when I was a senior, there were some bigger kids. But majority, it seemed like everyone was more average. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Is that, like, a... I mean, I don't know. It, does you that can, mean anything? You, or, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way you perceive things. You know what I'm saying? Because you are smaller. So, it's just everybody seems bigger. And once you're bigger, uh, you know, true, you just realize... True. All right. So, I mean, that's how I felt, too, dog. I remember when I was yeah, a freshman. Was yeah, everybody that. felt like a fucking giant. Or, mm. I always felt so <laughs> small and all that stuff. <laughs> But nah, when you're a senior though, you do know who the freshmen are. Like you know what I'm talking nah, about. Yeah, like there would true, be those true. little. For some reason, there was always some little ass kids. Yeah, bro. that's true. That's true. There would. Actually, I just think your your grade and and all that stuff. <laughs> like you guys were always really small. Yeah. Like there weren't that many big kids. That's true. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I wonder if it's like what what kids are being fed or something. I, don't fucking know, I mean, there's always. I just think there's a ba- there's a balance for real, for real. Yeah. There's some huge ass kids. Yeah. For no fucking reason. No fucking reason. <laughs> they come into like high, they come into high school and they're already bigger than all the seniors for no fucking reason. That's true. But then there's some. There's always some small ass kids. Bro. That's true. Like you, do you know who? I, I'm I'm about to put him on black. You know who Isaac is? Isaac who? Zimmerman. Nah, nah. Fuck. I nah, I don't. Bro, that man. I mean, he had a growth problem. Oh, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's like, no, nah, but, but yeah, so he just looked like a little kid. I mean, bro, Ooh. CJ, bro, CJ looked like a little kid all of high school, dog. Uh, you know who CJ? Yeah. 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 Like there's, there's always those, there's kids. I had, my, my ear had that, mm. the, that kid that looked like a, like looked like a child forever all throughout high school, even senior year. He finally grew. Like, I seen him out of college, and oh, he actually yeah. looks bigger now. Yeah, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like, they really are just maybe just late-ass bloomers. True. Because nah, he actually is, like, tall as fuck now, but in high school, he was always small as shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, nah, always I mean, small as that's shit. what I'm saying, bro. I haven't I haven't hit puberty yet, so I'm telling you, I'm about to be 6'5", bro. I swear. Bro, you're 19, though. Late. Late bloomer. I don't know about that late. I'm a late bloomer. I'm the first case. I know everyone hits puberty, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, 17? Bro, look what's 16? above your lip. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, bro? That is fucking puberty. Chill, nah, bro. No shave November. You about to be on that? Nah, this is. Can just... you can you grow a beard? I mean, I'm trying. I don't know if you see my my little joint. Right so here. you about to shave it all this month? Don't nah. shave it all. Nah, nah I'm it's not only the second day, bro. We can do it. I'm not shaving, bro. I mean, like I said, I already feel no nuts, so I'm I'm trying to stay stay strong with uh with no shave. So we'll see how that goes. But I don't know. I mean, bro, honestly, I don't know. If, what do you what do you what do you think about semen retention? Honestly, I, I mean we may have talked about it, but what are your what are your thoughts on that? I'm inexperienced, I not too often, but <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really see the you think the it's special bullshit? powers that they give. You. Yeah, it's bullshit. It's think. bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Steve-O said it's actually real. So oh really? Yeah, no. Steve-O said no, man. I'm serious. Yeah. Well, Steve-O knows all. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> it literally hurts my throat. <laughs> but, like, yeah, he even says receiving attention straight. Oh, yeah? It oh. does help. 
I mean, I guess it just gives you more energy and stuff. I can see how, because maybe like testosterone. But at the same yeah. time, bro, I don't know, bro. You, you think it might just be more to each his own kind of thing? Yeah. Like everyone is different. And just like mental, like, you know, what you, how much power you give it, just how everything is, you know? True, If you true. focus on all that, like, if you don't realize it's a problem and all that stuff, if you're not, like, actively thinking you're addicted, mm-hmm. and if you aren't addicted, you know, because if you're not, like, masturbating, like, the whole fucking day, so... <laughs> If you can say that and you don't give it much power, I guess you're straight. But it's motherfuckers that like think about it often and probably shit, you know, bro. stuff and just be like, "Damn, I feel like ass." At it. You know, I don't yeah. know. You know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just how power you give it. I think so, bro. One that's time. how I feel about senior retention. But I heard many people that have done it and they yeah, they always like say it's so tough. But at the same oh, yeah. time, mm. maybe they say it's tough just because they want to have a sense of being rewarded Accomplishment. yeah and we're being mm-hmm. rewarded for what they've done what they've done or the suffering they're putting mm-hmm. themselves through because technically they are doing that for no reason you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all it's all willpower I it's all like just willing kind of like a placebo kind of thing yeah like, you know yeah. like they, they might not even like be physically like feeling better or anything yeah. but it's just they just feel accomplished it's a mental because, thing is, yeah it might, you know what it might be that actually but i mean that's still it that still does play a role though like mental i guess battling you know what i mean but shit I mean, I've definitely tried before. I think the longest I've gone is like three months or like four months. And did you feel any different? I mean, like be honest. I mean, I just didn't really notice it, I guess, because during that time I wasn't really thinking about it much, and I was just normal. Like I know for for sure I was probably still sad, and you know, what I mean, just doing like my, my normal shit. But I guess I just at that time I just wasn't really thinking about like jerking off or some shit. You know what I mean? But I mean, I've I've gone through some fucking down bad phases that is not healthy. Talk about, like, I mean, I know people probably done more, but, you know, I mean, I don't think, like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know some motherfuckers that... I don't think, I don't think, like, bro, I've probably done, like, six times in one day, like, nothing, bro. That, that's pretty bad, right? <laughs> I mean, bro, it's the Easter own, bro. If you're really feeling that turned on that day. Right. <laughs> bro, it's not even that. I swear it's just the, that dopamine rush that you get. I swear. Because, yeah. I, like, honestly, bro... Most times, like I know, I do be horny, but most times it's just—I guess—I think it's just my brain wanting that dopamine from like you know feeling sad. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But shit, bro. I mean, I know, I know a lot. I see a lot of people, like famous people who, yeah, famous are, people. like sex addicts or like porn addicts oh, and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. Like Kanye, fucking uh, Terry Crews. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like his addiction and it's whatnot. A porn, yeah. Yeah, and fucking. Uh, I know there's a lot. Chris Dalia. Oh yeah, game. really? Sex addiction. Oh yeah, I remember I seen that shit too. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Like a lot. I guess it's just a thing. Like yeah. If you get when once you get that much access to it, I mean, too much of anything is bad, bro. Like yeah. So yeah, I mean, just be your meat, but <laughs> with consistency, <laughs> schedule that shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. fuck it up. Don't add too many. Don't take it away if you don't want. I mean. If you really feel driving and really feel like it gives you more energy and all that shit, hey, all the power to you, bro. But, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, trying to convince me that it's you get some other energy and all that, I don't know about all that stuff. You know, people are saying, you're giving your seed up. You're giving your mm-hmm. sexual energy. That's energy that's really released into the world that you said yours and all that. And it's like, no, nah, I don't know how, I don't know if I believe all that bullshit. You know, like, really? show me science. I'm a science guy. <laughs> facts. You're, yeah, you're I'm, a, a I'm a facts science you're a guy. Like, is there guy, science yeah. about this? There probably is science regarding, like, the testosterone levels and all that stuff. But, mm. like, Show me that it's bad to masturbate. <laughs> Maybe excessively, yeah. I mean, like there's six times a day, you know what I'm saying? That might be a little OD, but <laughs> but that's not. That's also not every day, though, you know? That was, like, just, that's a record for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a one time. Maybe sometimes, like, some, nah, I think I went some fibers in there, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you never. I think I went through a three-day run where it was, like, six, five, and, like, Six again, I think. Damn. Yeah, bro. Holy yeah. crap, that, bro. That, that three day was uh. Holy shit, bro. That's seventeen, yeah. bro. It was a while ago though. That's seventeen mass. It was. It was a while. It was a while ago though. I was. Eight, I was eighteen. Three days. I was eighteen. You said it like it was a long time ago. <laughs> You're nineteen. Come on, my guy. <laughs> Sorry, not yet. No. Hey, bro. We've all been there, bro. It's yeah, okay. but shit. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, hey. At least, at least I don't got AIDS. I don't got herpes. I don't got syphilis that I know of. You know, maybe maybe accidentally. I, I mean, s- how do you know? Have you ever got checked out? No, nah, actually, no. Nah, you might be right. Maybe I could have. Maybe I could have sat on a bench and someone like didn't have underwear on and they could have had syphilis or some shit. I don't know, bro. I get coughed on a, on the daily and shit. Like, oh fuck. I, I mean, that's why. Luckily, that's a good. Like, 
sexual partner. I haven't had many sexual partners, let alone like and, and many at, at all, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, thank God, you know. Oh, that's good. I heard some shit be going around. Like I've 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 known many people that have had things and like, suffered it, and people that I've been close to and stuff. But they go away though, right? Like. Yeah, you well, can get I mean, it you get herpes what, and then it goes away, right? Nah, I mean it depends, bro. Like, really? It depends. It all depends what it is or what. Like, some are permanent. Herpes, For I think, you, like depending. I think herpes, you might have forever. Oh fuck! But man. like HIV, you have forever. AIDS and that stuff, you have forever. Yeah. But then like chlamydia and stuff like that, that stuff doesn't last. That stuff's like infections. Crabs. Crabs, I don't know. I've never known. I, all right, that degree, I never know. I don't know of anybody having crabs, bro. That's kind of old fucking C. Imagine crabs coming out of your vagina. Like, how do you not know that, bro? Uh, oh, uh, no. Nah, how do crabs uh, get there, bro? Oh, nah. my God. Wait, what is crabs like, exactly? You just, bro, crabs. What? Crabs are crabs, bro. No fucking Like, way. it's living things. No fucking way. Yeah, I'm not lying, bro. It, it, it's living. Yeah. Oh. What? Organisms coming what outside of the kuchai. That's so disgusting. What the fuck, bro? I mean, shit. That's why. I... Hey, man. I don't grab that willy. I don't mind that. I don't mind that I got that. I that I got my purity right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, I know I'm healthy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not like. Uh, Do you think it's somebody's duty <laughs> to tell you that they have like uh, a STD? I or mean, STI? bro. I, bro. Prior to being with you, bro, you know there's some evil women out there that they on purpose they fucking go around and fuck. Dudes. I mean, don't just say women. There's guys. Too. Okay, okay. There's definitely guys that do that shit too. All right, my bad. I know maybe I'm coming off a little bit misogynistic, but yeah, cause fuck women. <laughs> but it's like, nah. all right, okay, like yeah, no, nah, there's definitely yeah, some dudes out there that do that shit too. But yeah, okay, you know what? I'll say there's dudes. people out there that yeah. fucking. They know they have some shit and they go around still fucking people. That's that's sick, bro. Bro, why that, actually? All right. That's sad. I'm about to. I'm not, all right, I don't know. I, okay, so I have a friend. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they had this person, uh-huh. like they were fucking with. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna say no names. Or I'm gonna be vague as shit. Okay. <laughs> but they had like a significant other. Mm-hmm. That significant other had something, cause he was cheating on her, bro. Oh. Bro, he was cheating on her, fucking another girl, getting her, giving her chlamydia and stuff. Not only that, he knows this at this point. Him and the other girl know. Because I think it was the other girl that had it. She gave it to him. The one that he he cheated, cheated on. on. Yeah, the one he cheated on with, that girl had it. Then he had it. They know. He knows and gives it to his, his girlfriend. Girl. Oh yes. Willingly. Is fucking her. All this shit. That's the evil. girl finds out. That's actually so evil. The girlfriend finds out. She's like, bro, get this shit fixed. Bro, fuck you, all this bullshit. He's like, please, get this shit clean, fixed, or right, right, whatever. No fucking till then. She asked if he ever did get it fixed. He never did. So she thinks, and he and he lies to her, saying he did. Bro, he fucked her again and gave it to her again. Oh my. So like, bro, gosh. that's what I'm saying. Like, don't just nah, that's bro. like that is fucked, bro. That People willingly so know this evil. stuff. That is so evil, bro. I have another question for you. It might be a little different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or it is a little different. Yeah. Should a post-operation transgender disclose that they are transgender to you before fucking with you? So a transgender girl, bro, is fucking with you. You have no idea it's a transgender girl. Like, they got operated. They sound, look, everything... To the T mm-hmm. is looks like a woman, and they never tell you. Like, do they think? Do you think they have the duty and responsibility to let you know if they're trying? Like, if they're trying to get serious with them, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, the thing is, is bro, shit is getting better nowadays, son. It's harder to tell, bro. And it's not only with women. I mean, not only with men transitioning to women, but women transitioning to men as well. Yeah, like shit is just getting. Better. I was just giving you a scenario and yeah, yeah, for yeah. you. Okay, yeah, yeah, but uh, sh- I mean, the thing is, is that you just, I feel like it's kind of, you can't just go out, I feel like you can't just go out the bat, like off the bat and just say, oh, by the way, I'm a trans. Yeah, yeah. But somewhere, if it gets to a point where it starts getting a little bit more intimate, I feel like at that point, okay, you gotta be like, all right, I'm gonna just let you know, I used to have a cock. I think that would be uh, considerate, personally. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen some Reddit posts uh-huh. of the latter, my guy, meaning of like trans people saying that they don't or they shouldn't have to say it because it doesn't matter anymore. There's arguments for. Nah, I'm sorry, bro. That's information that, you have to disclose, bro. But it doesn't matter anymore because like they're not that anymore. It's all changed. So what? And why would them being like if disclosing this info to you afterward is it going to affect you wanting to be with me you know what i'm saying so like let's say just because i am a trans girl well you're not going to fuck with me now now that we fucked up, now you found out <laughs> see so then that's where the gray area is and that's where i think it's a little fuck because that's when trans people start to point fingers and be like all right you're transphobic then uh, but i'm like but it come on like can't you just think it's preference yeah. It's something that people have to really process. You know what I'm saying? Like realize that this person was another way before and they're they're this way now. And like to somebody that's might not be something that they're willing to process and take in and like not accept because maybe they can accept it. But like wouldn't you prefer somebody that is okay with it rather than somebody that has it in their back of their mind the whole time? You know, like if they have that in the back of their mind at the time and they just still try to force it, like, you know what? It is okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, like, if it's lingering there, yeah. that thought is going to, like, fester. It's only going to grow and, like, yeah. and, like it's always going to be there and it's just not good. It's yeah. not going to be healthy for you. No, nah, I don't care. Regardless of. But I it, mean, is it transphobic, though? I don't know if it's transphobic, bro. Because it's, like, preference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, nah, I don't think. Nah, bro. I don't think it's transphobic because. Tra- isn't transphobic like you hate trans people? Isn't yeah, that? I yeah, I think that's more of a stronger. Yeah, or you know, fear because yeah, phobic is like exactly fearing. fear. I think. I mean, yeah. I mean, because I, I. I mean, I accept, like you gotta you gotta accept them. You know, because so it's like oh, because I'm a trans person. You're yeah, but so it's like yeah, nah, bro. That's fucked oh, so up, bro. That's like nah. It's, I think it's just preference, but it, I think there's always a line too of like okay, you know what? I mean, I could still you know be your friend and whatnot, or just you know consider just. Yeah, you know, act like you're a normal human, just like everyone else. Fuck. But like, you know, I I don't plan on you. I know, ain't gonna fuck. Exactly. I don't know what a pussy cock feel like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I actually, you know what? I mean, it might even feel pretty good. Yeah, it might. Honestly, I would. I mean, a post op. Yeah, post op. Who knows? Maybe they do some crazy shit and and put some like extra. I mean, they were a man before. They know what they like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what exactly, I'm saying? exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Nah, I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. I mean, on, like I said, though, shit is getting better. I mean, think about it this way, bro. Okay, my oh, bad. Wait, no, no. What we about to say, bro? I was gonna say, oh, dude, things are getting better, dude. Because, not, but I saw a a girl tra- transitioning to a man. Oh, okay. On TikTok, and they were taking like testosterone, bro. That shit looked crazy because their voice was getting deeper and shit, and like they were growing a fucking beard, bro. I don't have a beard. They were growing a fucking beard, bro. It was this, this one uh, trans person who was a girl transitioned so to a trans guy. man, a trans, trans man. Okay, yeah, trans man. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, man, like, she, like it looked like she, uh, he looked, you know, like a man. And I was like, dang, bro, that's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. She's getting good, bro. Eventually, she's like, getting good, bro. Eventually, you're not gonna be able to tell anymore. You know what? Actually, what is the problem though? Like. Okay, so uh, Cause, uh, cause cause they used swallow. To... <laughs> I don't know why I didn't mean to do that. I don't know why it was so loud. Cause they used... I, like gulped, <laughs> like a fucking movie scene. All right, but <laughs> I looked at you like that. I was like scared. Or <laughs> You're like fuck. It. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay, I don't know. I, I don't know how this works. Okay. I don't know for sure. I like how well we are for, uh, <laughs> along technology wise, but can a trans woman give birth? Oh, so maybe that's where an area like a little there might be a little conflict because okay, if somebody no, wants to have, if somebody wants okay. to have a kid, okay, they can't sense. really have a kid with somebody that's a trans girl. Okay, yeah. because I mean, yeah, post op, but can they fucking ing- give you a whole Damn. female reproductive system? I don't know about that. Like maybe they just give you a vagina, but I don't know if they give you the whole insides and all that stuff and the egg and all that stuff. So like, you know. Damn. That is something that you have to consider. Nah, that's true. You're right. And also, like, for a male, can, like, a trans man, can they produce sperm? Like, can they literally give you nuts and then now you produce sperm and shit? Like, I don't I'm so I'm saying. Yeah, like, I don't know. I actually <laughs> don't know. That's interesting, actually. Damn. <coughs> if you can, all right, I don't say anything wrong. Fuck it. Is that gay? If okay. I, if I, will, if I were to have some, some. Fuck a trans girl? Yeah. Is that gay? 
post op. Post op. Yeah, post op. If you don't tell anybody. So no, I mean I don't know. Uh, I I don't think so. Why? Not, yeah, I mean nah, it's not it's right. Derek, Derek Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, but that's what I'm saying. Like, do I they? I mean, have, I think I think that's something I would think about too because you know I am I do consider myself a straight man for the most part. You know, maybe sometimes, uh, you know, um, by curious, yeah, by or curious be- or bestiality. Mm-hmm, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but Indulger. you know, I do prefer I do prefer women, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that would be considered gay to fuck with a post post uh, surgery, um, you know, trans. Nah, I, don't, I don't think so. But but see, that's the only question I have. If they have the ability to reproduce. Still, yeah, all right, that's know. straight. I guess that's straight, bro. Fuck I mean, the way I mean, honestly, I, I would not be surprised if that were possible to do, but then yeah, again, I know, right? But then I, again, I, I, who I don't knows? know who yeah, knows, who, though. Yeah, I don't, who I don't knows know nowadays? Who, I don't know to what extent, yeah, the body goes and how shit works, but I'm guessing that I mean, I know you can put another uh woman's egg. In another woman, woman yeah. Well, I don't know if it works with another. Yeah, like man, they don't have man. they don't have the same reproductive yeah. system. So I, I don't know, bro. Yeah. So, but like, all right, if that's a thing, all right, then I understand. <laughs> I, I understand not wanting to be with a, a trans person. Yeah, no, I mean, that's something yeah. that you have to consider. No, that's also, true. Yeah, but I like, mean, I, I definitely want to want my little Omar Junior to you know running around, and I don't think I could do that with a ex <laughs> cock holder. You know what I mean? Cock haver. Cock haver, yeah, but slanger. I don't know. But if I they mean, lost is it gay if they've lost their virginity to the opposite sex, then transitioned? Um I mean I, I think I would just say that's a gay experience. I don't think that's you being gay. <laughs> I don't know. No, like you're fucking a person. Like you understand what I'm trying to say? Like you were, so let's say it's a you're you're gonna fuck a trans girl because you're fucking trans girls, right? So you think it's a girl, uh-huh. and like when you're looking at them, well, you know, you know, you know, it's a girl. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, and before they transitioned, before they were that girl, they were a guy, right? Ah, uh, I see where. Yeah. Okay. Now, as that guy, they had sex with a girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now they trans. Now they transition. Is that gay? Damn. I mean, I don't know if that's gay. Maybe, maybe paradox, it's, man. There's so much. Or, or what if it? What if it was just because? See, this is why motherfuckers just be non non binary dogs, and they don't have to worry about all that bullshit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I just fuck whatever, bro. Or, or what if? Or I mean, maybe I don't know if that's gay. Maybe it's just her. You know, her bits were just not that. Were just so bad that that he was like, damn, I gotta, I gotta switch. You gotta make the damn. switch. What if he dated a Joe and then she ended up being gay later on? Like he, or you like turned her gay like after your relationship. Yeah, that's a t- after your relationship. Be re- they, they, you you're the that? one that made that they realized. Damn. No, nah, there's definitely stories. I actually like that. am gay. No, I, there's stories like that. Right. Oh, do, you know something? Yeah, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, I do actually. And, that, that, was, and uh, that, unfor- that person actually had like two people of their exes. No fucking turn- way. <laughs> yeah. Fuck no no fucking way. I swear, way. bro. I what swear. Fuck. I swear, bro. Actually, I think you told me about this. I, I yeah. don't know if you did, but that's crazy. Oh, nah. At that point, I would just be like, damn, I, I'm going to just, just be a asexual plant. Just not even... Photo, and just photosynthesize. Yeah, just photosynthesize. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now, basically. You know, I do... You know, I give off... I, I take some energy from the sun and in my hand. That's how I reproduce. But, you know, sooner or later, we're going to make the switch to uh, sexual reproducing... Hopefully, but uh, it's in the works. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> what he said. Yeah, Damn. but bro, fuck, fuck this cold though, bro. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. fuck Maryland, dog. Cause you know, I'm gonna fucking start getting sick out here. And not only that, I work at a school, bro. So like, I've been thinking about it. Mm. Those bitches be getting sick a lot. Like we already had another kid sick. Like constantly, I'm in constant danger. And I think about it growing up, those, like when I was a kid, my teachers were always in constant. They had hella kids, you know, I'm talking about like 20, 25. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I ever got one of them sick. What's the worst thing you ever did to like it? Like, what's the oldest memory you have of teachers? Like, I'm talking about elementary school. Elementary school is kind of vague for me, bro. Like, 
trying to think back on it. Mm. Even though I know it was a fun time, because like I, I work at an elementary school, so I know like the activities and stuff that they do. Yeah, I'm like, bro, like this stuff would be tough back when I was a kid, and uh, I'm like, and I know we did do stuff like that as a kid. Yeah, like did you ever you ever see that video of that one kid that like they all have like the little thing in the gym? And it's like the big old circle. It's like a big old tarp, and he like gets pulled under. He's like, Whoa! you know what I'm oh, talking about? Yeah, you know, I think I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, like they pull. A fu- they ever did that as a kid? I think so. I mean. I, I, Elementary I, I school, like a visual image of it, but it was like it sounds familiar. All right, so it's like it's like a rainbow pattern, kind of. You know, what I'm talking about. I know. It's a about. big old circle. It's a big old tarp, and everybody holds it. I know. Yeah, yeah I do. I did. I, did, I used to do that. You know what, bro? They still do that. Another thing I just remembered in middle. I mean, uh, elementary school. I don't know if you did this, but it was the fucking uh, the dancing. What is that shit called? The it, it was like box dancing or some shit. You ever what? did that? You never did that? No. Bro, they made us, I remember in elementary school, they, I forgot the exact name of this type of like dance, but it was like, you would have a, you would have a partner and then you would just do like some sort of like dancing in gym. You never did that shit? No. Nah. I do remember a dance unit. Yeah. there was. Some, I don't remember box dancing. What the fuck is I mean, that? I think it's called box dancing. Let me look it up. Hold on. Box dancing. But yeah, that, and I mean, bro, nah, the best times in, in uh, elementary school were the fucking field day. Field day. So dope, For some bro. reason, my school changed it and they started calling it Olympic Day. I don't know why. <laughs> that shit was the best because of the fucking tug of war. Oh, my 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 class would do tug of war. Yeah. Like the, the like um, every class in that grade would do tug of war. Oh my! And me God. out. I was always like my whole life. I just been such a fucking try hard pussy. I don't know why. You know, like <laughs> I don't know why I always been try, try hard with it when it comes to like strength and ability and anything like that. Yeah. So I'd always be like, bro, I have to be the strongest one. Let's fucking go. Yeah. And I would try so hard, bro. But it wasn't fair because it was just always this one. There was this one big ass kid in our grade. Just one, just one big ass. You know, there's always that one huge yeah, kid in your grade, bro. No reason, yeah. So whoever had him in their, in their class, bro, essentially would always win <laughs> because his big ass would just fucking carry him. He'll have like kids holding on his back and shit, piggyback riding. He was the tallest fucking teachers. Bro, what the fuck is box dancing? Waltz dancing. I think so. Waltzing? Yeah. No, like dance partner. Like you had to dance with somebody. Waltzing is when you yeah. dance with somebody. Ah, That's like ballroom me. dancing. Like mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, never mind, never mind. But I do I swear, I don't fucking remember what was the name of that shit, but bro, they made us fucking dance in elementary school, bro. It like do some like weird shit. And I don't know. They for some reason, they, it would always be like something that was just like for a short period of time. Um, for example, cursive writing. Did they, they made you do that, right? We did do and, cursive. And they, and they made us, like, play the flute, everyone. Did the they recorder, do that for you? boy. The recorder, yeah, same Come shit. On, I was a dog at that shit, boy. For real? <laughs> fuck yeah, I got to black belt, boy. <laughs> black belt, what the fuck? Yeah, that's what we did it by. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, oh, hot so cross cool. buns was white belt, and then yellow, blue, oh, uh, yellow, shit. orange. All, and then we just kept going down. It was, like, harder. The more you went down, yeah. the harder the song. But you see shit like that? It was just a bunch of random shit they made us do. No, yeah, you, you realize that they don't really do shit in elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> Except for like the MSA. But then I feel like they don't even do stuff like that anymore. Remember the MSA? Mm-hmm. Yeah, MSA, yeah. But they, I think they I think they changed it. You know the map R? The map R, yeah. And map, the map M. And the map M. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. I remember all that shit, bro. Son, I was a tryhard in that stuff too. Like the map R and stuff, bro. Honestly, bro, all I remember from elementary school, uh, most of it too was just it was just fucking girls. I'm just trying to, just trying to fucking. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's who. Girls, bro. And I remember, dude, one of my, uh, one of my counselors, bro, fucking banging daughter, bro. I wonder what she's doing right now, bro. She probably, but at that time though, she was like 18 or 20 mm. or some shit. I was like eight, <laughs> but she was a blonde, bro. Oh my goodness. What they came on bring take your child to work day. Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah, I remember when my fifth grade teacher did that. Bring your, take your child to work. Yeah. yeah she bro. brought both her kids. One of them was like a young boy, and then all the girls was like fiending for him, and I was sick. You know, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was the guy that all, all the girls liked, and then this guy came, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> He's just got trying to take my trying to take my thunder. <laughs> fuck him, <laughs> bitch ass. <laughs> turns out, <laughs> turns out they only liked him just because he was unique. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like just because it's a teacher son out of nowhere. Like, oh, who's this guy? Mm, yeah. But it's like not anything serious. Nah, that's how it works. Yeah. I was a competitive little fucker back then, bro. I really was. I was Damn, such a crybaby, a crybaby bitch. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Damn. Like I never admit it much because I want to make myself look cool. But nah. Yeah. Like, I actually think about it back mm-hmm. in the day. Like yeah, I was a little crybaby, competitive little pussy. Really? Mm. Yeah. I tried so hard. Have you ever seen that uh, Tomas from back then come out to now? I mean, not as nah, not to that extreme anymore, bro. I'm not like that. Yeah. Like, 
I had I had to mature, you know. Yeah, I think definitely. middle school I matured. I realized that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But nah, elementary school like I don't even know why I had a lot of people. I don't know why I let so many people like me, bro. I was a dickhead. <laughs> I was a dickhead. I bullied every female. Back in the day, <laughs> elementary school it's so more normal. It's like it's very normal to have girl like friends and guys. Like you know, like the whole yeah. group is like you know it, yeah. nobody really thinks much about it. Cause there was, <laughs> cause there was no oh, he's trying to fuck you or some shit. Nah, you know but there saying? is though. Well, I stand, bro. I was in that shit, bro. <laughs> bro, you know me and my friends had a band, bro. We had a band. A band? Yeah, what the great. fuck? We started make, writing songs and all that shit, and I wrote a love song. No fucking to way. My junk. What the fuck? Yeah, they told me to sing it, and I couldn't. What the fuck? Because I was like, I hate singing. <laughs> <laughs> so in fifth grade, I turned to a little rebel. That's what I'm saying. I turned to a bitch. Fifth grade, like music. For some reason, I just rejected. Like, I would, like, th- throughout specials, all throughout elementary school, it's fine. You always participate in everything. It's not like you'd, like, be a rebel or anything. Mm-hmm. For some reason, fifth grade came, I started rebelling. And, like, in middle in music, I just stopped. What the she, fuck? Everybody's trying to sing and all stuff. And I'll just be like, nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. See, I thought it was cool. I was like, nah. Uh, can't pay. I don't sing. I'm not good at singing. Can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> The middle school it's, comes and I'm in chorus, in advanced chorus, and yeah. all this bullshit. <laughs> it, it, it's because you were like that. You know how that one dude, uh, or in bands, like sometimes he just like he just stops. Like, he's he like quits. Yeah. Like, Fuck this. You were you, yeah. you thought you were that one dude. Nah, bro. I really <laughs> was, bro. I really thought I was the shit. Like some, yeah. some emo OC, like fuck y'all. Yeah. like didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when in reality I care the most. Damn, bro. Uh, That's crazy. My projection was not like that back then. My projection was more. Of, uh, just I mean, I still try to be funny, always. Yeah, but I was a rude funny, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. I told you that I was like a bully funny. Yeah, damn. Now nah, that's funny, like, bro. Pick on everybody. I don't know if you ever peep this, but sometimes I see people's like kid self come out when they're drunk. I see that, bro. Really? That's why I asked you. Have you ever seen like that Tomas come out in like now mm. any times like that? Because for some reason. I mean, I, that, that, that's probably have, have come out in myself as well when I've been, like, you know, under the influence and whatnot. So I just wonder, because I, I, I noticed that in some people. I'm like, damn, that kind of seems like how some people would act like when they're, like, kids. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's just like, you know, right now we're technically adults. So, you know, we have the we, we have the facade that, that, you know, we hold up, I guess, that, like, you know, we don't want to act out. You know what I'm saying? But, shit, when you're drunk, bro, you... you Shit don't matter, you know what I'm saying? At that like point, a child. <laughs> yeah, bro. So. See, that's why I act like a child all the time. I guess that's why I never realize it. Yeah, not me too. Because I'm always myself. Baby. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Being a exactly. Dumbass. Yeah, it's only it's only just more more uh, emphasized, I guess, when you're drunk. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I definitely always act like a child too. But um, yeah, bro. I mean, on that note, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you yeah. for listening to this podcast. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoy you sexy motherfuckers. Like, subscribe, comments, and um, give us topics to talk about. Some controversial stuff like this transgender stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. And, I don't know. I'm in uh, my trans. I'm in my. Am I in my communication and gender studies class? So I'm just curious. You know that's why I should be thinking about that stuff often because <laughs> we be thinking a lot. So yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. We love you, and uh, see you on the next episode.